Hi guys, my name is Braskus, and welcome to Tormentum Dark Sorrow. This is a point-and-click horror game, and the paintings, I believe, are based off of, um... Ah, uh, what is his name? Something... I forget the initials, but it's something other Geiger, who I'm also pretty sure is uh, the same guy that did the designs or, or the, the model for the Aliens movie. The Aliens, the creatures themselves, are based off of his ideas and his paintings and artwork. I think it's H.R. Geiger. I could be wrong about that, so I'm sorry if I am, but I'm really curious to see how this goes. I don't play many horror games, and I haven't played a point-and-click adventure game in a very long time, so I don't know, but this one has a lot of promise. It seems really intriguing. So let's see what happens. Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely as a means to an end, but always at the same time as an end. Emmanuel Kant. I like my little bone hand cursor. First, there was darkness. Then I slowly opened my eyes. I felt a strong wind, and the floor below felt like it was moving. I realized then that I was not on the ground. I was high above the clouds. Locked like an animal, in a metal cage attached to a flying machine. Next to me, there was another cage, with another prisoner inside. Hello, stranger. I see they didn't come just for me. They came to my house at night and locked me in this cage. I worry about my family. They're out there all by themselves. They come when the sky begins to cry fiery tears. They are said to take only those marked by evil. They use their airships to transport them to their castle, and nobody returns from there. They arrived in our land a long time ago. It's ironic that our ancestors helped them raise their cattle here, castle here. Nobody is there in their worst nightmares could have foreseen their plans. I don't deserve this. I'm not evil. I've always led the life of a simple hunter, doing what I could to feed my family. Wait. I feel the machine descending. We'll reach the castle soon. What are you, like an armored otter? My head swirls with questions concerning my current situation. Was being here some kind of punishment? What did they want from me? Contrary to my companion, I don't remember anything. My mind can only recall the image of a strange sculpture atop a mountain. In my mind, I can see stone hands reaching towards the sky. Between them stands a statue of a woman. I do not know what this place was, but subconsciously I feel I must find it. First, though, I had to get out of this terrifying place. The airship lands in a courtyard inside the castle. Guards in horned helmets drag me to a cell inside a castle tower. After a while, one of them returns and speaks to me. <clears throat> Foul being, soon you will suffer the pain of torture. The p this place will purge you of all evil hatched within your bowels. As long as clay is being formed in the hands of the potter, anything is possible. We can still reform your corrupt soul in spite of the deeds that have shaped it in the past. Your fate is not yet sealed. Remember, the Dagger of Destiny has two edges. On one side there is torture, on the other is yourself. You may think nothing depends on you, but it is you and your actions alone on which everything depends. Soon we will meet again in the torture chamber. Delightful. Okay, so I'm playing now. Um, it's a bird which has something I want. The raven arrived with something in its beak. It's a small metal plate of some sort. Can I interact with anything else? The sky is shedding tears of flame. The bars look really solid. Even though I got past them, I'd never be able to climb down from a tower this high. Okay, so I probably can't do anything here. But I got some piece of metal. Uh, now I have the guy's bony hand, probably. Picked up the skeleton's forearm. Who knows? It might come in useful. And... Nothing else. Okay. And then this guy had something. I do not see anything useful on him. Broken skull. I don't need it. What about down here? 
can't reach it. I need something long to get it. Like, say, the forearm? Fish out a crystal eye, it emits a red light. Uh, I hope I won't meet a similar fate. Do not see anything useful on him. Um, some kind of a tool to unscrew this. The cover is screwed tight. I can't open it. Can I use these? Aha! Okay. Um, oh, so I've got a whole bunch of these cogs. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need a big one first. And then... Can I use a smaller, well, a large one again? Well, I could, but it's not really going to do a whole lot of good. Let's see. Let's try this one. And then this one. Maybe this one. And there. It worked! It was a rather primitive mechanism, after all. Does that open the door? The bars have risen! Here's my first step to freedom. This is really cool. The art style is awesome. Uh, so there's me. Eyes so I can see, hearts so I can feel, light to dispel the darkness. The stone angel will show you the way if you meet these three conditions. Uh, yeah, I talked, heard that. Okay, so it's just going to be the same no matter which one of them I'm looking at. Uh... Okay, what's this? Skull's eye socket is empty. Well, they did say eye so I can see. It needs a heart. But I don't have one of those, right? No, I've just got the rusty plate. Uh, what's this? Found a piece of a mirror. Okay. So I need to, to read that one more time. What did he say? Eyes so I can see... Heart so I can feel, and light to dispel the darkness. Uh, I should find all the missing pieces to the mirror. I feel it's somehow linked to the angel statue. Okay, so we found one. Can I use it on the mirror? Okay, yeah. So I have to find more pieces to the mirror. Um, is there something down here I can do? Yes-ish. Oh, light, so I can see. Okay. But I can't take it with me, I just have to... The candles light the angel statue. Okay. So the candles are lit. What's this? Wing appears to be part of a larger mechanism and it won't budge. Okay, I probably have to get the heart and everything else worked out before it'll let me pull those down. Okay, what's this back here? Just a wooden board, something behind it. There's our heart. Stone heart. Someone clearly made an effort to hide it. Man. That's probably another mirror piece. Yep. Piece of a mirror. Um, okay. So, what am I doing here exactly? Oh, here's another pure mirror piece. I'm not really sure if there's a purpose to raising and lowering all these skeletons. So far, not really. Uh, oh, there's another eye. See, shiny object. If only I could raise the water's level. Okay. So to do that, presumably, I need to put maybe some or all of these need to go in there somehow. Um, where do I look now? It's still down there? No, okay. Uh, alright, let's, let's go back and put the heart in there and the mirror pieces and see what happens. Maybe I'll get something from what I've done, I don't know. Alright, so I only need one more mirror piece. I still need another eye, which we know where it is. And here's the heart. The stone heart has started to pulse with a red light. Okay, that's creepy. Which is awesome. I might add. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to angle the mirror, but that'll wait. There's not... This is gonna be... Yeah, it's just gonna show me this. Skull's eye socket is empty. Um, was there anything back here? Shouldn't be, right? 
don't think I'll learn anything from him. Nothing useful. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, could it be that one of my predecessors tried to leave me some kind of a message? So, I guess... Okay, I'm hoping I'll get to keep notes. Okay, it looks like those do stick around. Oh, and here's my other mirror piece. Totally missed that. Okay, found a piece of a mirror. All right, so there was a good reason I came back. All right, uh, this is so cool. All right, uh, so that goes there. Mirror's now complete. And then we come over here. And according to this, basically one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So those three should be up. One, two. So these two should be up. This one should be up. These four should be down. Okay, so how do I do that? I guess you have to do it in the right order. Whoa, what the hell? Is that one of the ones that's supposed to go down? No, that's one of the ones that's supposed to be up. So that one will always be up. You can't do anything with that except open it. So that one's supposed to be up, actually. That one should be up. That one should be down. That one should be down. Oh, this is so confusing. I just don't understand what the switches are. Like, one of them stayed down. Which one did I get to stay? Is there like a pattern to this that I'm not getting? It's like these four are supposed to be down. It has an X on this one. Maybe that means that's supposed to be the last one or the first one. Or maybe it's just meaning that it's supposed to be those two. Is that enough? Well, I could raise the water level. Okay, so we're on the right track. Because putting those two down raised the water level somewhat. Can I do this one next? I like to raise the water level, so it has to be in the right order. There we go, okay. So it is just raise those four, leave the others alone, but uh, do it in the right order or it doesn't work. Okay, so we got that figured out. And now we have the other eye. Crystal eyes have sunk into the skull's eye sockets. And then we're supposed to reflect the light. Uh, where's this one go to though? Okay, so... Huh. Aha! Now it reacts. Okay, so this one should go... I got a feeling this is supposed to eventually make... A star, maybe? No, okay, so that goes... Huh. Okay, they can't possibly all be... Stoneheart's already in place. Eyes so I can see, heart so I can feel, light to dispel the darkness. Stone Angel will show you the way if you meet these conditions. Crystal eyes are in place. So it's got to be something to do with the wings and the lighting of the angel, but I don't know where the correct place to light is. Like, I would have guessed maybe the head, but that's not working either. That's got to make a pentagram. I'm almost positive that's supposed to do. So it has to be able to hit the mirrors, or this doesn't work.
That's promising. Okay. Oh, but that'll change the pattern. Huh. So the first one hits that mirror, the second one hits, or the third one hits that mirror. Anything else will block it. Man, and there's no, no notes or anything that will help me with this that I can see. Hmm. Okay, give me just a second, and I'll figure this out, and I'll be right back. So hang tight for just a minute. Okay, I figured it out, and it just triggered right away. So we hit the right buttons, and the angel lowered it and everything, and the angel has revealed her secret to you. Use your chance well, Traveler. And I was right, by the way. It was a pentagram. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> That's all he says. There seems to be something missing here. I don't suppose it would be this. It fits. The piece of metal was part of this mechanism. Okay, so now what? Oh. Okay, so I'm supposed to make the keys match, I guess? The pieces have to fit into one another, so let's start by figuring out where... Here's another question. Can I switch them that way? Yes, I can. Okay, so can I... No, top ones won't switch. So... This one should be over here. That one should be right here. This one is going to be... Here? No, that doesn't look right. Uh, it's that one? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. And so this one should be, I think, right here. That one would be there. And then these two should switch, and it should all fit. Ha! We got it. Okay. Altered door should open now. Cool. Steel bars block the way I came. I won't be able to go back that way. Wow. Sure sucks to be you, doesn't it? Found a skull covered in mysterious ornamentation. Hmm. Completely destroyed. Uh, let me guess. You need a head? Because I have one right here. The skull has the same kind of markings as the headless skeleton. Okay. Uh, what the combination lockbox, maybe? Was there something on the skeletons complete? I'll try the machine. Oh, look at that. Um, so I know what the first three are, I guess. Oh, and there's the fourth one. Okay, so triangle sideways F. And then this one's sideways power symbol, and I don't even know what to call that. Sideways power symbol. Symbol order is correct. The device has started. Okay. Did that do anything? Someone must have removed a lever from the device. Without it, there's not much I can do. Okay, so we essentially got it functioning, but we don't have the lever we need to do anything with it. Oof. Um, all right. A hole with an unusual shape, but nothing I can do to interact with it at the moment. So it's just a weird hole. It is easier for a thousand crows to fly through a fiery mountain than it is for you to pass safely through my entrails, wretched human. My gates are shut to the sinful for eternity. Be gone! Um, 
Uh, no. I appreciate that, but, uh, no. Not leaving. Need stuff. Um, you're just gonna say the same thing, aren't you? Yeah, okay, I was hoping I could interact with him to get something. I need, like, a stick or metal bar or something I can use as a lever for that machine. Uh, but that's been completely destroyed. Can I get something else off of you? This is where I took the skull from. See nothing else worthwhile here. Skeleton's complete. I'll try the machine now. I guess... But I can't go back because the passage is blocked. Completely destroyed. So where's the lever that I'm supposed to get this stuff from? And that's just notes of nothing in particular. And I can't change those anymore. I can't do anything with that. There's nothing lying around outside, or it would, you know, show up so I could interact with it. Um. Jeez, what am I supposed to get? Something else worthwhile. Well, I was hoping I could like use the arm from the skeleton, but it's not gonna let me do that either. Can I, like, change the shape? Can I click and drag? No, it's just a hole with an unusual shape. That's all that's there. And the ground that's less sturdy here, but I can't seem to do anything with it. Oh, there is another arrow over there. I'm sorry. I'm just totally an idiot. Oh, hi! I didn't expect to meet you again. How did you manage to escape? I need to give him an accent. I may be asking too much, but if you can help me get out of here, I can give you something to make your escape from this castle easier. There's a lever behind me. You should be able to lower my cage with it. It's impossible to get near it at the moment. That is because of the creature lurking in the pit nearby. You have to get rid of that abomination first. I believe a good way to go about it would be to feed it poisoned food. Somewhere in this castle there should be a kitchen. Please find it and prepare the poison. Only then can you lower my cage. Think about it, and I assure you it will be worth your while. Okay. Um, I guess I can go then, right? Won't risk being devoured by the whoa monster. Oh, that's what I needed right there. I'll take that. Thank you. And, uh, bye then. Because... Okay. Uh, lever. Yeah, I have a lever. Pull it and see what happens. Uh, can I not? There we go. No, pull the frickin'. There you go. Whoa! Why can't I move? Why can't I feel anything? This damned place has taken everything I ever had from me. My memories, my body, all gone. All that remains is a sense of overwhelming guilt. What have I done to deserve such a miserable fate? I, I, I remember a big flying machine, a cold cell, and sculpted hands. I managed to escape. I wandered around the castle, and then there was only pain. Never-ending pain. They must have finally got me. I am beyond help, but I have something that may help you. Please, take this key. It was not easy to get, but I have no use for it anymore. Okay, I will take that fancy-looking key. Which, if I had to guess, would fit this funky-looking hole. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. Keys prove useful. Did I get something cool? Whoa. Okay. Uh. Ah. All right. So, I have to construct pathways from the green to the green and the pink to the pink. Okay, um, well, let's do... That first, I suppose. At least of these pink ones, there's only, like, one way to do it, really. At least so far. I wonder if I can do one, then the other. Let's see if we can get this one connected first. Um, so 
so that goes to there. Is this just gonna, like, come together once I've rotated them all to match? Okay, so the pink one... Should be going all the way there, but the green one doesn't match now. Okay, I don't really understand how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, maybe I can rotate that one all the way around. So there's the green. Put the pink one back where we had it. And rotate that one all the way around. Ah, there we go. I seem to have connected the tiles properly. <clears throat> Whoa. What in the hell are those? You know what? Doesn't matter, because I'm all out of time for this episode. I do think I'm going to do at least a couple more episodes on this, so let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more of it, leave a like if you enjoyed the video as a whole. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we'd love to have you. And as always, I will see everybody in the next video. Catch you guys later.